Hey guys, Patriot Contraps here, and welcome back to my homemade dirt jumper build. Today, I am finally reinforcing the welds so we can actually do stunts on this bike. And in addition to that, I'm angle grinding them down to make them look pretty and painting the dirt jumper for the first time. I've really been looking forward to this and actually seeing what it looks like with the finished paint on it. So here we go. Right off the bat, the first thing on my list was cleaning up those welds. I needed a lot more strength in this frame than I currently had from my last welds last week. Now the reason for that is I didn't finish welding them all the way. I didn't fill in the gaps. I just wanted to see if the frame was even going to look right and be aligned correctly to function. So with that, I just put on some tack welds and went ahead and rode it around a little bit. Now I'm really going in deep. I'm heating up the metal, making sure it gets red hot and actually letting the two metals heat sink themselves together. Get a solid weld in there, fill in the gaps between the seat post and the actual front frame section. Make sure everything is solid. And then of course, take my grinder and grind off the extra spacer metal I had added to the frame. And then with add the grinding edge, grind the frame down. And it just turned out Oh, so fantastic. I love the way this frame looks compared to the way it was at the start of this day. You can see here the before and after photos. The before is obviously the top one, and the after one is afterwards, where it's just completely polished down with the grinder. Oh, I did have one hiccup, by the way, and that's this little wart inside the seat post. That little wart took me three hours to sand off by hand, and is a testament to the silliness of moving too fast in your welding where it actually heats up and goes straight through the seat post. So that's a lesson for me with uh, a little bit of a learning curve, but I finished it up, I put a coat of paint on it, and here are the results. Beautiful, the paint just turned out exactly the way I wanted it. It's got that aggressive dirt jumper look, matte black styling. I'm very, very happy with this frame. It's by far one of the best frames I've ever built on this channel down to the welds smoothness and the integral strength of the welds themselves. I'm very, very happy with this, especially since I'm going to be doing some stunts with it coming up in my next video, hopefully. That is, if my wrist allows me to, I'm still feeling the pain from going over the handlebars. So we'll see about that. In the meantime, I'd like to hear from you. What do you think of this build in general? And particularly, what do you think for tire replacements? Should I stick with the white wall theme? Should I go with mud off-road tires? I do a bit of street and off-road riding, so give me your ideas. Maybe you have some ideas I haven't thought of before. I'd love to hear them in the comment section below. Until next time, though, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and as always, have a fantastic day. Patriot Contraptions, signing out.